Hey everybody, it's Derek. And Lizzie. And we are back with the board game spotlight game night. Wonderland's War. Wonderland's War. I am so excited. So I'll start the video by saying that I'm part of the Skybound team. So I'm a little bit biased towards this game. However, I truly, truly believe in what we've created here. What the what the design team and James Hudson, uh, Tim, ben, Tim and Ben Eisner, Ian Moss, mm -hmm. Manny Trembley, Matt Paquette, the team, absolutely extraordinary. There's a lot of people behind the scenes who are rocking it out as well. And we are so excited to share this with you tonight. I know I am. You are? It was worth the wait, because I had to wait a long time to play this, because every convention, the tables were full, and I wasn't the one teaching it, so I never had to learn it to teach people. So I didn't get to play it till like, what, two weeks couple ago? Couple weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you and were And I was waiting. like, when are you going to teach me this game? And he's like, oh, like, we just made a couple changes. I got to update some <laughs> stuff. I don't know. Like, you'll get to play it eventually. It'll happen. Months of me asking. I finally played it. It's good. And it was worth it? I, it was pretty worth it. It was worth the I'm wait. I'm excited to play it uh, And we are showing you an exclusive two-player live playthrough. Um, this will be a two-player game. Lizzie versus myself. Yeah. Uh, there's there is a little bit of a variant. Uh, it's quite minimal, and I'm I'm personally very happy mm -hmm. uh, with the way that the two player works, and I'm excited to show you all how it works, so that you guys can throw some more money at your screen because you're not going to miss this. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, don't literally do that though. That's not how it works. I mean, you could throw money at the screen. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But you but could. Before... But it's not going to get you anything, is what I'm saying. Before we dive in uh, to the table, first we're going to show you the trailer. Uh, cause I, I love this trailer. Derek is nothing if not extra. And uh, James, James is very, very happy with this trailer and he should be. This trailer is gorgeous. So we're going to roll, roll the tape. The path to the old tree is well worn. I could have walked it with my eyes closed. The tumble down the rabbit hole brings back a flood of memories. Tales of time running out, and of warm tea passed around. The frosting is delicate and light, and I nibble the cake marked, eat me, just so to gain passage. I was told Wonderland had changed, but I was not prepared for what I saw. The tea is now cold, and the cakes are old. How I would love to be asked to move down one more time. I miss how brilliant it was when the slithy toves did gyre and gimbal in the wave. Somehow, the madness has evaporated. Like the cloud of crazy has been blown aside. I've been gone a long time. The paths through Wonderland have become twisted. And our reflection is now twisted and broken into something unrecognizable. I will bring clarity to the confusion. If war will right this wrong, then so be it. Man, I got goosebumps watching that trailer. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love that stuff. It's so good. Come on, you pair Manny Trimbley's art with a thematic, like, trailer. It's awesome. I love it. It's very good. I'm just... I'm super extra. I'm, and I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm much more reserved. Lizzie's like, meh, it's cool. I you know. like it. I'm just not going to, like, jump up and down. All right, well, let's talk about tonight. Uh, we have, the first thing I want to tell you all about is that we have a 48-hour flash goal. Right here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, castles, everybody. People help out because I really Miniature want them. castles. This is Share what we have right now. Share the campaign. Yeah, this uh, is, well, this is prototype, of course. Well, this is I know, but right I mean... Now. Uh, share the campaign because we need backers, not stretch goal money. Backer count matters. You matter. Share with your friends. Uh, the next thing we have is we are going to play the Mad Hatter versus the Red Queen. The Red Queen. The Queen of Hearts. So the Mad Hatter uh, is quite mad. He has a, quite a little bit of crazy things he can do. And uh, it's very fun. How about Red Queen? 
She's um, pretty uh, the destructive. The Red Queen. Oh, of course she is. Um, well, I don't want to explain her power. Do you want me to explain her powers? Like, no, no, no. Like, are you excited to to show off the the Red Queen? Of course. Of course. She's powerful. <laughs> and the and the I'm red lipstick matches. I'm dressing the part. You can't tell I'm wearing a dress, but I am. I never wear dresses. <laughs> It's awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive down to the table, uh, and let's go ahead and talk about what we have yeah. in front of you. All right, this is what you came for. So, Wonderland's War is a game that plays over two phases, three rounds, two phases. A mm -hmm. tea party phase where we will draft cards from the tea party, mm -hmm. and we have a war phase in which we will fight in the various regions mm -hmm. around Wonderland. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight we are using, uh, these are the prototype, or, you know, they're the standees, standees yep. but this is the art that you can expect to see from most likely final. Again, everything in this is a prototype, so it's not final. In fact, you'll notice, I mean, this die is definitely not, and we have gold uh, shards instead of black shards for our prototype. But, uh, but we're they also will work using, well for our purposes. Of course. We're also using the standees um, for the other Wonderlandians, and yeah. we're not going to stand these up. You, won't be, you wouldn't be able to see them, so we'll have them laying on the, uh, the Wonder, Wonderland Which board. Which is how we usually play it when we live stream, just so you can see everything much easier. That's right. So Derek is going to go ahead and populate the table for our first phase where we will take turns going around and collecting these cards. So they're going to give us chips that we're going to put in our bag immediately. They are going to give us uh, maybe some Wonderlandians, maybe some Forge chips, maybe some supporters, which we'll put in um, the four areas out there. You will also see some of them have this little symbol where you have to roll the um, shard die and it's going to give you some amount of shards. Um, you can also, if there's nothing out there you like or you've already gotten a couple and you're like, man, I really want to refill, you go to the head of the table you roll the shard die, you're going to collect more shards, but it's going to refill all the empty places at the table. So that's like a great way. So yeah, if you're it's like, a great way to like get there's something only one card I like, let's see if I can like mix it up, get some new stuff out there. So you can do that as many times as you would like after you've taken a card. Right. Well, you can once per turn, well, yeah, like, you got to go around and take one yeah. and then you can come back to the head. Yeah. 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 But again, you have to roll the shard die. So you may end up, you know, getting I mean, some shards. shards are, not great. You know, so the two-player variant. Let's talk about the what we've got going on in the two-player game. Mm -hmm. So in the two-player game, um, we have... I just want to make sure the audio was good. Um, a couple different things. Number one, we have an NPC player marker that mm -hmm. is going to be at 7, 10, and 13 uh, for the different rounds. Mm -hmm. So in round one, it starts at 7. In order to beat, uh, or in order to even win a region, score, you yeah. have to beat the NPC. So you have mm -hmm. to get over seven At just least. to even be eligible to win. Mm -hmm. uh, second place mm -hmm. has to be within five uh, strength of the other, per other, player. other player in order and to also, also win and also beat the NPC. the NPC. And there's a slight variation on drawing chips that if I stop, if I withdraw from mm -hmm. the battle and Lizzie wants to keep going, she can keep going a uh, plus five mm -hmm. from my current location. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I may not want to go much higher than beating the NPC. Mm -hmm. And um, you want to, I think that just came unplugged. Um, you know, I may want to complete a quest and Lizzie or I withdraw. So then it allows the other player to stay in the battle a little, mm -hmm. little bit longer yes. in order to do that. And it's worth noting, if you ever reach 25, so if we're both keep going, keep going, if one person reaches 25, they automatically just flat out win. Yep. Yep. It is a little bit of a race to the end. No, you're good. It's it's working. That was just... Oh, I'm looking at the other screen. <laughs> it's a little behind. The battery needed to be charged. That's important. So that we don't lose this. this. Okay. Okay. So. Are we going to just do one phase and then explain the other? Um, I want to talk about our player boards really okay. quick. I know there's a lot of information. There is two excellent how to play videos. Man vs. Meeple and Geek and Sundry both did excellent how to play videos. Uh, I encourage you to go watch those. We are not going to teach you how to play the game tonight. Uh, we are just going to show it off so you can get a feel for what to expect. Um, so the first decision we have to make is to choose between two quests that we were given at the beginning of the game. So you're going to choose one of these, mm -hmm. and you're going to keep it, and then secret. secret. And we are also testing that we're going to start with what we call half castles. Mm -hmm. So in the two-player variant, you actually have to win a region twice in order to place a castle. Typically in the base game, mm -hmm. you, when you win a region, you get uh, the points and you get to place a castle. Well, in the two-player variant, you actually have to win that region twice mm -hmm. in order to gain you, a you castle. You have a presence and then you, Correct. you have control. So the card we discard 
uh, so is actually is going to be where, keep. and mine is also red keep. Huh. So we're both placing half we castles. both competing over that. In red keep. Yeah. All right. Oh no. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about kind of what's happening here. We'll, we'll go ahead and do the tea party phase, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about our player boards as it comes up if we're unlocking something. That seems uh, the Mad Hatter so enjoys madness. Uh, go figure. He likes tea and cake. Uh, you know, so that's great. I mean, and the Red Queen like and wants to assert her dominance over, right? She wants to, it's all yours. Also, let's talk about really quickly the cards that are in the game. Um, so these are the cards that you can expect to draft. So we have six ally cards over here. Do my best man away. <laughs> there are rooks. Uh, which are the strongest my in favorite. the game. Um, they cannot be affected by your other chips, uh, and that's important because flamingos yes. double the power of the next chip you draw. Card soldiers are either going to give you a strength or they're going to return an exhausted chip that you played previously and put it back into your bag. Mm -hmm. uh, the creatures are really fun because they flip-flop back and they're forth. One, they're, and they're one, five, then five. Then they're one. Then they're, then they're five, five then one. Then they're one. Then they're fives and ones. It's yes. super fun. Uh, the Forge allows you to upgrade your player board. So yeah. the Forge is how you're actually going to a little bit of engine building or mm -hmm. tableau building on your, your player board. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get to the end, you're going to yes. be adding three power chips. You're going to add your an artifact to your bag. Yes. Uh, the you other thing heavy. is that uh, the roses, roses give you victory points for mm -hmm. forging them or having them active if you did not bust. Mm -hmm. So those are the player cards. And we are going to go ahead and start. Um, Lizzie is the first player, so mm -hmm. you're going to get three shards, and I, I start like with two. And you get first pick, though. I mean, you know, that's that's pretty good. That's a lot of pressure. It's pretty good. Oh. Well, oh, man. Tough decision? A little bit, I'm going to yeah. pop into um, the comments here. Oh my goodness, I see a ton of things. Oh wow, this is awesome. So hey, many people. So many people over on, on YouTube. This is wait. fantastic. Okay. Oh, well, you <laughs> no, can just let it. me know where no, you want to go. You, you see all the comments. I'm going to go here, take this. So I'm going to take two one power uh, creatures. Man versus Meeple. Oh, Kira is over on YouTube. She says that she loves your face. Thank you. Uh, Red Love Queen, yours. go Red Queen. Ryan two Meters over on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. We're so happy that you all are here. I also have to roll Not my eyeball thing. games. Awesome. I see a lot of new people one. Uh, that have not tuned in before. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, and then I will keep And this. of course, Facebook Please. comments are rolling in like crazy. And I can't keep up with those. So Ian, Your turn. Matt, James, y'all are awesome. Uh, they are on the comment streams over there. So uh, Mad Hatta has an ability that I can once per tea party take any card without moving. Boo. And I am going to go ahead do and it. do that by taking this upgrade. Oh, you didn't mention what Wonderlandians are out there, did you? Oh, I didn't mention Wonderlandians, but I, mean, I kind of thought I would get to getting... it. Yeah. That's not oh, a no. idea. It's, a, it's an upgrade. But so still. I am going to upgrade Unbirthday Present. So the ability for the Mad Hatter, I gain this uh, symbol, which is an upgrade symbol. And it says, when I fill my Madness track, I get to gain any level two chip, a strong chip to my bag, oh, uh, which is so really good. good. Well, to my exhausted, rather. Um, any strength two chip. And I get a level one strength chip now. So I'm <laughs> going to take a Flamingo. Or as Seb would say, a mingo. A mingo. It's his And you are animal. going into Red Keep. I am going to come over into to uh, Tugly. To Tugly. Tulgy. Tulgy Woods. Tulgy Woods. I did not read the book, so I'm not super familiar with the areas. <laughs> All right. Well, it's back to you. Okay. I am going to go ahead. And I did use my power for that, so I will I'm not be able to do that again. Two Ooh. flowers. I'm going to place two people. And I also uh. have to roll the shard die ha huh, one so one is the best you can do because it's one two or three so you're gonna get some no matter what right so that is my second and you place supporters here place and supporters meadow of the here. living flowers you should probably look at my quest to see where i'm trying to go okay cool okay cool 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 so mad hatter is it. going to come around and take this yes. uh forge symbol i get one supporter i'm going to place in tolgi woods mm -hmm. i get can you hand me a forge and another flamingo please Oh, I should put these in my bag. Yeah, I mean, you can put them in your bag immediately. I like to keep them off to the side to remind myself, like, what I've gathered and, but, you well, know, I mean, it's whatever. It's on the card. Okay. Yeah, so. uh -huh. Good. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take my red rook, my lovely little babies. 
I'm going to take my three supporters and put them in Tulgy Woods because I'm not letting you have that. No way, no how. And into the bag you go. Ian is like, you must construct additional pylons. <laughs> I just read in the comments, like, Ian's like, I forgot about that rule for the two player where you have to win a region twice. It's different, uh, but it encourages fighting and actually forces players to go back into a region to continue the head to head nature. Um, all right, I need to get some supporters on the board. No. So let's go around and take these card soldiers. Also, the other thing I didn't mention is that in a two player game, we're going to draft. Five. Instead of the traditional four. Five cards. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Two of those, please. Yes. And I get two supporters, and both those supporters are going to go into... Mm, I need to go in red keep, because I can't let you win that. Um, cool, cool, cool. Also, you know what we did forget to do, which I, I do forget about this, is that we have to determine where the first battle will take place. That's true. So the first, because that like, does... It, it does change a little bit. Where you're going to fight. I mean, you're going to so, still fight in all four areas, correct. or five in a three to five player game. So it is going to be in Tolgi Woods. Where's our marker? Uh, the marker we will use. I don't have the Grim Forest marker, so let's oh, yeah, use... Let's just, you want to use a die? No. We'll yeah. use the walrus, because he's different. Oh, the you know who we mini. should use? Do we use Alice? Sure. Put Alice, Alice on gonna the board. Alice is going to tell us. Alice is going to tell us where we're fighting. So what, how you determine the first starting battle is you mm -hmm. flip a quest. It tells you where to place the battle marker, mm -hmm. which, of course, there is one in the game, and that will be that. Will be that. Okay, it's my turn. It is indeed your turn. Oh, okay. hold on one second. Did I place my two supporters? Yeah. Didn't you? Uh, No. Yeah, you did. You put them here. Two, four. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool, okay. cool, cool. We're good. She's going to come around because there's lots of blank spaces. Okay, I'm going to take two, and I'm going to refill the board. Derek, if you please, I do not have long enough arms. Of course. I'm going to shuffle these up real quick. He's taking all of Wits, wits end, end out, out of there yeah, to I make forgot. sure that we don't end up with something that we can't So use. when refilling the board, Lizzie has gone around, and you rolled the shard die. I did roll okay. the shard die. I got two uh, We shards. are going to refill the board everywhere where there is not a person, a person seated. seated or a card. Okay. Oh man, there's some flamingos. Oh, there's a Wonderland and I'm past it. No one already used my ability for the round. Not cool. This is excellent. For Not me. cool. Ah. Okay, well that was my turn, so I can't do anything. No, no, no. So when you go around, you roll, you still get a pick. Oh, you still get yep, a pick? Yep, you still get a pick. Oh, it, it's just a temporary, new? you just pause, refresh, roll, and then you still get a pick. Oh. So that's why the timing is great. Like you could be like, oh snap, I can try to refresh really well to grab something. Okay, I'm gonna go here. So I'm going to place one supporter in Pool of Tears. Okay, and you get the top one... quest. Yes. I'm there going to take go. my trusty red rooks. And I get one thing. Let's see. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, Alice is such a fun character in this game. When I know, I she is Alice. unlocked, like she flies around the battles for her unlocks. Man. Oh man, I've been taking the wrong chips. I've not been paying attention. No, nothing in for no. It's, it's oh, not. you mean for your quests? No, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Reading what this does is important. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I have to go all the way around. I didn't want to, but I, I really need I'm pretty to. sure you just gave me back the quest that I discarded. Well, I reshuffled it, so I'm sorry. Um, that's my fault. I got to roll this bad boy. I get one. You discarded it for a reason. Well, fine. Put it on no, the bottom. No, it's fine. It's fine. You did shuffle. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so I, lose, I shuffle. I'm definitely not blaming it on this. I gotta go here. Okay. And then now I can move all. The oh, this is a horrible idea. Oh, this is awful. This is a terrible idea. I immediately I really, regret this decision. Oh, I really want the Wonderland again, but he gives me no supporters, which means I'm gonna have to roll the die to get more shards. That's not cool. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna get two more cards, but you're definitely gonna snipe it from me. So you know what? YOLO. So I don't get it to place any supporters off of this card. So this card gives me no supporters onto the board, but I do get a Wonderlandian and I get a level one ship. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would like a card soldier, please. A level one card soldier. And I get to pick one of our Wonderlandians. We currently have the crown of the knave, like which is one. chips. Uh, opponents do not count their strength in the ne their next strength chip. I don't like when I'm against it. Uh, the white rabbit, after the battle, if you did not bust, you draw three chips. You can play any of them and return the rest to your bag so he can actually change the outcome of battle. And the lock of unicorn here, this is super pressure luck. Mm -hmm. This chip gains a 
uh, one strength for every different type of active chip you have. So for for each type of active chip, like so it could well. be like as high as like six or seven just off that one chip alone. Uh, but I have to I have to go Crown of Knave. Like I, it's so good. It's so 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 good. Okay, my turn. Even though White Rabbit's really fun, I just okay. I really wanted that. Flamingos. Okay, two level one flamingos. Did I have to roll for that? No. Okay, no. cool. So we're um, good. two supporters. So we're gonna go. S- Oh, I can split mine up. Yes, that is so one that of is the, the Red Queen's power. The Red Queen. That is her like automatic base power. She doesn't have to do anything to unlock that. So I'm gonna place one in the Red Keep, and one in my Pool of Tears. Um, and I also have to roll. Hey, Mike Pass uh, sure Passels over on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you, my friend. I see a lot of uh, I have a Mo- Patrick we Moore came run in. out of shards. Uh, we're not. I've got these extra ones off the side. We can grab. They're worth five. We won't run out of shards. We okay. are good. We have more than enough. Although, you know, we don't want them. Ian says you both know the shards are bad, right? <laughs> we, we do know the shards are bad. Uh, you don't know my life. You don't know me. Oh, my gosh. I got to get more supporters on the board. I can't let you win two areas like, without default. anything. So I would like a level one. I get rid of a shard. So this gives me three supporters. I get rid of a shard. I get a level one flamingo. And I get three supporters. Unfortunately, they all have to go in the same area. So which one are you going to give to oh me? Oh my gosh, I don't know. They're both bad for me. So let's fight here because I don't know. Because we're going to fight in clockwise order. So we'll go this way. Mm-hmm. This will be the last battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, which means I might bust by then. I could refill my bag by here maybe. But I only have two here. You know, I'm just not in a good position anywhere. What you going to do? Two, four. Um, hmm. Let me look at my quest real quick. I think once it's laid, it's played. I mean, I'm saying you put it in the meadow of living flowers, it's there. They're going into the pool of tears. I'm going to make you cry. I have to see you try. All right. Ooh, nice. You rhymed. I didn't even mean it. Okay. So we took our five cards. I do not have my ability upgraded at the moment, mm-hmm. so I don't get six. Now mm-hmm. we get to deploy our leader into an area. I have to go first. Yes, you do have to go first. And our current leader strength is one each. There are ways to increase your leader strength by drafting cards. Um, Oh, but before we end the round, Mm -hmm. uh, we will determine who has the most shards, and I think that's pretty obvious. Lizzie has the most shards. So you're going to discard half the shards you own. You're going to get two madness. Is it rounded up or down? It's rounded down, Mm, and I'm going to get one madness chip. It's just... Put those on in there. I had nine, guys. I had nine. It's a lot. You, uh, I will reiterate what Ian said. You know, shards are bad, right? All right, so we'll clean up the tea party, and the Mad Hatter is going to join. Why'd you go to the Pool of Tears? Not cool. Let's go to Tulgi Woods, okay, this my friends. Starting. All right, so. Oh, gotta get my ship bag. Okay. In the bag. Ha ha ha. Shuffle up. Oh, man, this is so satisfying. Sorry, it is a little loud. It's very loud. Um, okay, so, Tolgi Woods, uh, the winner gets a half castle and six victory points, and second place gets half of the current round's victory points, which is six. So you will get three. Whoever we get second will get three points. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you said that, you said, like, half of this round is six which is three. sorry half of the round half of six points. is three is what he meant that's what i meant that's I'm what bad i be here for. it's fine yeah. uh also we have to beat seven on the battle track now I this will reset you can do whatever you want this will reset at the end of this battle phase and what we're going to do is simultaneously draw a chip out of our bag and reveal it oh! Two. okay i'm going to take it thank you that was really bad. Was so Lizzie goes up plus two, and you're on a forge symbol at the moment. Oh, wait, isn't your leader in there? Oh, yeah, my leader He's is one. there. I start at one. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's 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 draw something a little bit better than that, my, my friend. Ready? Ah, ah, card soldier. So I get a plus one, so I'm now tied with Lizzie at two. And actually, this chip ability will trigger. There's nothing in my exhausted pool, so that I'm actually going to gain an extra strength off of that. All right, here we go. And go. Ha! Card soldier, one. plus two. One, two, one. Uh, okay, ready? Oh, bam! Ha! 
Oh, next three, one's doubled for me. Three. Got three, a flamingo. Three. One, two, three, and one. But my next one is doubled. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Give me something good, like a forge or something. Wah! No! Three, 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 three. Uh, hold on. One, two, three. I have a madness. I'm going to take that madness and lose my last supporter. However, I have my leader, which I can. It means I'm still in the battle. You ready? No. Ready? One. Oh, snap. That's a sixer for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one for Lizzie. I am red. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. One. There we go. So we have both uh, passed the NPC, which means mm -hmm. we both have, you know, Mm -hmm. We'll both score in some capacity, and you are two spaces away from me currently. Mm -hmm. I, so and my I flamingo doubled my three he for six. One. It's true, but I do have my shield, which I'll talk about if I draw a, sh a madness. Ready? Okay, so that's going to give me plus two strength. One, two. And I get a one. And you get one for 11, so it's 14 to 11. And now we're going to reach in here. We're going to come out. Ha! One. I get one. Magic hands. One. All right, so I'm done. Lizzie, because she is within five of me, may continue to draw, and also because you are actually behind. You can continue to go. So go ahead, at your uh, leisure. Okay. You have one supporter left. And you should shield that. I am shielding that. Now, I'm gonna talk about the shield real quick. Everyone starts with a, an active shield. When you bust, uh, you, you, know, you could choose to use your shield to put back a madness chip you draw. Uh, the one you and just drew. The one you just redrew. And you get to redraw. Immediately. So Lizzie busts. But what that means is your shield now gets immediately refreshed. So your shield comes back. Lizzie has lost. She actually completely zeroes out. So you will not score the three points. I will not. I get a half castle because I won. And I also get six points. So I'm going to give myself Wait, six Wait, I need points. one more to refresh that. Correct. Now four madness chips is going to refresh not only your madness track, but also the exhausted chips that you played before. So that means next round, my one, I just traded out for a five, so this will be coming into my bag. That'll be, that'll be going into your bag. Which is not actually a bad thing. Which is pretty good. I'm, I'm not mad about that. All right, so this is going to reset back to zero. Oh, hold on one second. Before we do that, if you had a quest and you didn't bust, bam, you can complete it. So this says dangerous quest, uh, stop in a forge symbol in Tolgi Woods, which is what I did. So this is active for me. And I can actually forge one of these chips that I had played. I'm going to forge a card soldier, and I'm going to forge onto this area. Again, remember, forging is culling a chip from your active chip pile, and it's placing it onto your board permanently. So it's going to come out of your bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw a new quest, and I get one new supporter into my reserve. Mm -hmm. And then these go to my exhausted pool. And I have completed this quest, which means I will score two times the victory points at the end of the game for that, whatever that says. Okay. All right. So we're going to Pool of Tears now? We are going into the Pool of Tears. All right. I'm not feeling very good about this, but let's let's do it. Ready? Hold on one second. You should start at one. I do. And I need to zero back out. Okay. Okay. So I should be at two? Yep. And I have a one. So two to one. Oh, man. Whew. Invigorating. Two to one. Ready? I am. Ooh, crown of knaves. So my next one counts your next thing. strength will be zip. But I get one. I hope you draw your five creature. Oh, it's not in there. No, okay. It's not. I hope you draw something super juicy. Yeah, it's actually good one. for you. But that means my next your one next one will is going to be, be. Ooh, what if I drew my second crown of knaves? Oh, I wouldn't, wouldn't need to draw it. this round. You're right. Ready? Six. Oh, three. Six. I also got a six. I got a six. I got a six. Well, give me my points, dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six at 10, and I'm at nine. So it's nine to 10. We both have beat the N NPC. So we both are going to be able to score if we don't bust. Oh, I don't like this. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. One, please. Also, there's a reason why drawing madness is bad. Supporters in regions uh, we'll stay. stay there if they're not It's withdrawn. a cumulative. They're going to stay on the board. So if you don't lose them all, they're going to stay out there for the next battle. So you can actually strategically place your meeples out there so that you can have them for the next mm -hmm. uh, war phase. Okay. So, ready? Oh, if I just would have drawn, <laughs> I could have beat you. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so you get four points. I get four. I get to put a half castle on And there. I get two points. Oh, gosh. That's amazing. I thought you were going to keep going. You ah. got wrong. Okay. You got me. Okay, so this one will become a five. Okay, so now here's the thing. I am very low on chips. <laughs> I want to bust so that I can get all those back in my bag because I have two fives in there and that would be amazing. So here's what's happening for you though. This mm -hmm. is going to be a non-contest mm -hmm. because there's nobody here. So you're going to win this by default. Mm -hmm. So you need to bust here. Well, you're actually oh, in a totally good position to do that. I'm about yeah. to bust. So like as soon as I bust, I'll be happy. Right. I can reset. I'm so happy I'm going to bust. I mean, things you never thought you'd hear playing Wonderlands 4. Plus one. Oh, wait. I had an active hmm? rose last round. Oh, okay. I'll give so you a, get point. a point. Yeah, make sure you... Remind me of that. I just those. did. I just got so excited that we both stopped. Uh, plus one. What did well, you have? You know plus two. I also had a forge, but. Did you fine. want to forge? No. Okay. I'll forge you don't have to time. forge. I know. Next time. Ready? Plus one. Three. So one for me, three for you. So that puts you on a forge symbol. <clears throat> Ready? <sighs> oh, another oh, forge. Oh madness. Okay, you refresh your whole bag. So Lizzie now gets not only the four madness, but everything she played previously is all going in. Are, is going to be here for this battle, which means I'm in big trouble now. So I think I what's going to happen here is okay. If I get a really good pull, uh, okay, ready? That's what I thought was going to happen. One. So I just lost. No, I can't lose both. I'm gonna I'm gonna shield it to get another redraw. Oh, I need you to give me one. Then. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, crown of knaves. Sucker. Okay, your next strength doesn't count. Draw again. Mm -hmm. And a flamingo for one. So I'm at and six, you're at two. Seven, eight. You're, you're on a forge symbol. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Ah! So it puts me at nine? Yes. You know what that does? No, you completed a quest, didn't you? The royal quest. Okay, uh, so this is something I was worried about because you had to stop with a strength of three, four, nine, nine or, or ten. ten. So I stopped on nine, which is good. But if this hadn't, if I hadn't done this round, we would have had to talk about this because for later rounds with N NPC person. Right. So I was like, well, you would tie I get all as long as you're, well, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you as long have as to get yeah. a minimum of 10. Okay, so yeah, yeah. mine flips over. <sighs> you got a castle, you get, get two points. I get nothing because I didn't beat the NPC player, so I don't get second place. But I stopped, number one, because I didn't want to lose my supporters, and number two, because I wanted to get on this forge symbol, which you can't see on screen very well. It's it's up there. There mm -hmm. you go. There's a forge symbol right here that I want to stop on. So I actually have three forges. Mm -hmm. I have one, two, three forges I can actually do. So I'm yeah, going to forge this one here to upgrade my, uh, to get rid of a shard. Okay. So I got rid of a shard. I'm going to forge here. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to use this to forge a flamingo <gasps> to get rid of another shard. And that unlocks my chip. artifact chip, which is going to go into my bag. And my third forge, I'm gonna use the forge chip itself, and I'm gonna forge that onto making my castles worth four points each. Four points each now. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's, it's pretty decent. Pretty okay. It's pretty decent. So this is all gonna come back. Yes. Now we're hold on, we need to finish the battle. So this well, one took place. Yeah. You win. You have a choice. You either get the points or you place a castle. Or a half castle. It's up to you. I know. It's a very difficult decision. I'll take the points. You want the points? So yeah. four points? So that puts you at 11. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we go into cleanup. So during cleanup, we're going to put all of our exhausted chips, which are the chips that we drew for the battle, and everything in our madness track goes back into our bag. Mm -hmm. We go into the second round. Everybody goes back to the tea party. Tea party, tea party. And we get new cards. We get new cards, but first we're going to determine well, the first well, battle I mean. is going to go in Tolgi Woods again. All right. Okay. I guess everybody wants to fight in Tolgi Woods. All right. And the next round, this is round two. These you cards. You forge, you're a madman. That's like Googling Google. <laughs> I, uh, oh, Ian said that? Ian said well, that. Well, I have like three forge chips in my bag already, so I, I, I feel. I have like three forge chips, guys. Like, I know. Oh my gosh. I know. That was a super big humble brag. 
I don't know if you know this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Are you though? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoever's in last place goes first, which is me. Um, so if I hadn't taken that and just put a castle, I would have gone first. Would you like to go first? No. You want the points? It's fine. Okay. Hey, I'm giving you the it's option. fine. Okay. Whatever. Whatever, dude. All right. These cards are a bit better. And when I mean a bit better, much better. So I'm going to go here and gain an upgrade and place three supporters. Hmm. So, hmm, 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 oh, sir. My upgrade is going to be, it's always tea time. Instead of placing the Hatter into battle, I may take a, an additional tea party card. So I'll take oh. six cards in this round. I hate that. Um, and then I get three supporters, and I'm going to place those three supporters wherever this quest wants me to go. Um, Togi Woods. Here, is that really you, where he wants me to go? I, I don't know. You tell me. Okay, so I need two. I'm going to... Oh, hold on uh, a second. Where's my... Oh, here he is. You need what? Two quest cards. Yes. Two I get cards. to look at two. Oh, take I was going to take that next. I sh knew I should... Uh, good, good pick. Good pick. Hmm... <laughs> uh, Night My Eyeball over on YouTube. This is a game for two to five players. We just unlocked, or we didn't unlock, we revealed the fifth player today, which is the Cheshire Cat. And the Cheshire Cat Oh, I get to place. Very cool. Two. Very cool. Uh, yeah, you get to place two. Hey, get out of there. That's no. that's my woods. No. No. Uh, I'm going to go, oh, dude, do I pass that up? No, I'm going to go here. I need quest cards. So I'm going to take two supporters and place them into Red Keep. Actually, no, we're going to place them into Pool of Tears. And then I get a quest card off the top of the deck. It's going to go into my hand, and I get a level one. I would like a rose, please. Uh, yeah, level one rose. Thank you. And that goes into my bag when the time is right. It is now your turn. Oh, no. And this thing keeps popping out. No, I Apologize for the sound. Okay, Queen is going over there. I can't really reach it, so if you could help me out. I'm yeah, we're my just help over here. Yep. Oh no. I'm gonna get a flamingo, a level one. Okay. And I'm also going to place two supporters, two peeps out there. You haven't gotten any of your upgrades yet, right? I have not. Okay. Don't forget, there is you can upgrade. Um, you can gain an upgrade by placing over by forging. You can get an mm -hmm. upgrade. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna way. do it. If you don't get something that you can draft. So I have done two. Because her, the Red Queen's ability, when she gets unlocked, she's really scary. She's very scary. Um, yeah, I need to get off with your heads. I'm, I'm just going to place a half castle on the board. So Ooh. three supporters into Metal Living Flowers, and I'm going to place a half castle into Pool of Tears and try to flip it this round if I can. I don't know. We'll try. Okay, I have to go back and reset. So you're going to go all the way around? Okay, so we're going to... There's nothing for you me. Go. One shot. Here. Here. Oh man, a level three or a level two. Oh wait, no, and... I'm there. And what? And um... one? What would you like to take? Mmm, there's an upgrade leader. Lose two shards. I just did that though. Fair. We got a flamingo. A level two flamingo. Level two flamingo for Lizzie. Oh, that was a bad idea. No, well, it wasn't. It's good. Is it good? No, I got two people left. Yep. Got two peeps. Two peeps. Also, if you run out of supporters and you get a card that allows you to place supporters, you can move supporters around the board. It's true. Uh, you can move them from region to region. And you get to split your people. Don't forget about that. I know. Um, that's that's very, very good. You're going to go there? you going to go there? We're going to call it a day. Uh, Ian Moss, we are using a Rode Lav mic. Uh, that is what we're using for our sound. Said. It's just like a little lapel, like a, a, a road lapel mic, and uh, it just got bumped is all. We're just so excited. Um, I know. So I'm late. Excited. I'm late. We have a very important date. What do Are I we want? Are we allowed to say that? I don't know. Why not? Go for it. Uh, I got to go flamingos. Uh, flamingos are crazy fun. Uh, so this is going to be one supporter. I'm going to place the supporter in Tolgi Woods. Can I have a level, uh, a three and a one? So a level one and a strong and a weak. Domingo? Yeah, a strong and you, a weak. You said that like so convoluted. Like. I know, I know. I'm trying to use the correct terms. It's strong and weak uh, allies. Well, yeah, but you like just oh, were, like yelling one thing after one another. Shard. Okay. 
So I have three. Um, Indeed. The red queen is going to go over here. I'm going to get a forge, and I'm going to take a level one, I believe it is. Flamingo. Uh, oh, snap. That's really good. And then no people, because I don't have any people to play well, anyway. Well, looks like I'm going back to the tea party to reset the okay. deck. Give me something the deck good. deck should be there for some reason. Uh, there's a Wonderlandian. Oh, we should refresh the Wonderlandians, huh? Oh my goodness, you didn't do that? Well, no Wonderlandian cards came out. Who put you out. in charge of oh that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Frickin' Humpty Dumpty. And the Griffin. Ah, oh, and the Walrus. They're all out there. Man, Humpty Dumpty's a jerk. Um, so I good. I think you're missing a, a one. He's so good. I haven't finished. I just yeah. saw the Wonderland and I wanted to put it out there. Oh, I'm actually missing two because of that one. Oh, no, I just gave you an upgrade. That's bad. Whoopsies. I mean, you could come take it. Nope, I'm not going all the way around. I'm going to take this. No supporters. Gives me Wonderlandian. I'm going to take the Walrus because mm -hmm. the Walrus mm -hmm. is fun. I get to deploy the Walrus immediately into a region. We're going to place the Walrus into Meadow of the Living Wood. So there's the there's the walrus, and I lose two shards. How about how about them apples? That was my fifth card for the round. Well, I'm obviously gonna go to the next spot. Okay. So I get to upgrade. So I'm gonna do off with their heads. When the red queen is placed, all opponents lose one supporter from that region. <laughs> Ian said you should probably reveal some new wonderlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got flamingo. it. I got it. <laughs> right? No, you know what? We're running low on flamingos. I have never used the card soldier before. Uh, the card soldier is really fun. I'm going to go for it. B mainly because it has two uses, to put exhausted chips back into your bag or just gain its strength. So they're very flexible. Very excited about this off with your heads, people. Oh, no. I'm feeling the power now. Why don't you read what it does? I literally already did. You did? Oh. I literally did. Great. Where were you? I was just afraid of it. That's what I was. Um, all right, I'm going to get another forge and go here and get rid of my last shard chip. Uh, and get it. Can I get a forge? You don't have any shards. Uh-uh. It doesn't matter, though. I still get the madness. You always get madness, regardless of how many shards okay, you well, have. I get rid of three, so... Um, hold on one done, second. Right? Yeah. Um, I'm just seeing... I have two supporters. I'm seeing if I want to move anybody anywhere, but I'm happy with every, where everything's at. Mm-hmm. So I'm good. Okay, so, so I get rid of three, anything. so I have to take two. Yep. I'll I get one. one. Okay. So I'm not... Starting Woods. Well, where's Red Queen going? Because my power was to take six cards. Mm -hmm. I used always tea time. Mm -hmm. So the Mad Hatter actually is not going to go into battle this round. So he's going back to hang out at the uh, at the tea party. He is going to go sip some tea. I'm going to go to Tulgy Woods, which means you're going to lose one. Ugh. You be careful. It also means that my Lame. leader's at a strength of two. Lame. We should probably reset this, yep, huh? So I start at two. Yep. And I started, started nothing. nothing. And exactly. let me put my chips I got for the round in my bag. Here we go. Wait, hang on, let me see if I Round know. two, war. Okay. Okay, that's like obnoxious. I just needed to shake them up. Hey, plus three. Uh, uno, go, trace. How many for you? Oh, oh madness. <laughs> and go. Plus one. Plus one. So plus one for me, plus one for you. Uh, pause real quick. I just want to look at my... Okay. So look at those. Ready? Oh, shouldn't that be at 10? Ooh. Oh, it no, should be at 10. Gonna... Thank you. Yes. Re re redo that. Uh, plus one for me. Yes, that should be at 10. Thank you for reminding me. One. I need a one. Because I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A... Well, I drew for this round. Or did I? Aha. Two. So this takes place before anything else. So I'm giving this plus one for two, which is actually going to double this to four off the flamingo. So I go up to nine and you get two. I think you cheated. Nope. Nope. That's just part of the combo. I don't know. Bam. Another <gasps> flamingo. That's not good. Okay. Five. That puts you one, two, three, four. Five. That puts you at 11. Not a fan of that. I am. Not happy, Bob. Three. Oh, madness. Uh, three for you. One, two, three, and I lose Is it one. a forge? Huh? You are on a forge. Why do you want to be on a forge? What are you talking about? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I stopped. Oh, no. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go one more. Oh, bam. So that's actually six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Winner, winner, chicken dinner goes to me. 
So I'm gonna flip over my castle, get six points uh, to 14, and you get three points. One, two, three, we are tied. I get an extra point because I have- You have a rose. And I'm gonna go ahead and forge that rose. Dadgum it, and get two extra points. So when you forge a rose, the power is that you get two points when forging a rose. I also forge, so I'm gonna forge to make my leader. Oh, you're, wait, you're forging three. twice, huh? Nice, yes. well played. I don't have any forges. Um, but oh, wait, I do hang on, hang on. have a quest, and you can complete one quest per battle. This one. So this says stop with exactly two or six oh, active chips. I have one, two, three, four, five, six active chips. I've completed this quest, and it goes into my uh, and then, area. And then this is going to all this goes go back, back to being a one. Yep. So your creature is oh, now a lonely, a, a lonely one. Okay. So yeah, what is this? Okay. All right. Next battle. So we're gonna come up here into um, pool, of tears. pool of Tears. Now we both have half castles here, which means we're both really trying to win this. Does it? I don't know. I don't know. Ready? Oh, madness. Madness. Not cool. Oh, double madness. But Look that resets my bag. <laughs> but now it's one to one. Why is it one to one? Hold on, I don't I have to any. Reset. I don't have any. And what do you have? You I have, have one, one person. You have one person left. That's why it's one to one. Oh, one to one on support. But this is gonna be doubled. Oh my goodness! So I'm come on, such a bad, other creature. I'm in such a bad position. I don't have my shield either, and neither do you. I know. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be tense. Oh, Six. I got a one. Six. So it puts me at Are seven. You serious? Goodness gracious. Okay. I just gotta get past that MCP, man. I, I don't like Trying them to beat right the NPC. In, the NPC is hard. Yes. Three for me. One. One, two, three, plus one. You're you're slowly inching up there. Like so that's I'm the hard eight. thing. Like it's you're fighting against a third player, and and that's what oh. really makes it difficult. There's three. One, two, three. Lizzie busts and goes to zero, so you're out. I am and out. I am gonna try to keep going and try to see if I can beat this NPC. Bust. Uh, bust. bust. That's bust. rude. No, it's not. Ooh, there's a plus three flamingo. One, two, three. I've now tied. I'm going to draw again because I obviously Bus. want the points. Bus. Actually, hold on one second. Do I want the points and the castle or I just want to tie and get the castle? It's only four points. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm not going to press my luck. Not going to do it. So I'm just going to flip my castle and I'm not going to get the points because I tied the third player. And yeah, that's what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and move over here to Red Keep. Oh, wait. Yes? Did I you have something you wanted to do? Yeah, I gave you the two you points did? from it. Yeah, okay. we talked about it. I don't know if we did, I promise. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. pop into the comments real quick. I see a lot of people commenting. <laughs> uh, Benjamin, the NPC already moved up. It goes 7, 10, 13. Uh, it's, at, it's at 10 already. Um, what's this? Roses. Okay. Refresh your shield. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Ian's talking about the refresher when shield. When you bust. Oh, yeah, when you bust your refresher shield. Didn't okay. you bust? Mm -mm. No, okay. no. Oh, you busted. You refresh your shield. I haven't busted yet. I need one more. Over there. No, no, no. Busting is when you get removed oh. from a region, not refilling your madness. Busting mm. is when you get, when you lose. That's what busting no, 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 is. No, no, no. Sorry. Okay, you ready to fight Red Keep? It is four on two. I do not like my, my odds here. Hold on one second. I should probably get rid of these active chips real quick. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One. Well, I just busted. You didn't bust. You, well, well, you, you drew a madness. It's different. You refresh your madness, but you also refresh your bag. So it's okay. I'm okay with that. You're in a good position. Better than me at the moment. Ooh, a flamingo into a flamingo. One. We're having a flamingo party. <laughs> Madness. Dang one. it. Uh, so I lose one, and Lizzie gets one. So you're on a forge. Mm -hmm. I do not think that I'm going to be able to beat the NPC this round. Oh, crown of knaves. Your next strength does not count. Ugh. I needed that, Mr. Mr. Crown. One. Ooh, plus one. Oh, my goodness. Bum, bum, bum. I am, like, crawling along. Uh, what do I want to do here? Yeah. YOLO. Card Soldier, I'm actually going to put my, uh, I'm going to use its ability to gain one strength and then put my Exhausted Flamingo back into my bag. Come on, cards. 
chips, whatever you are. Same difference. Ready? Two. Uh, I got a forge, and you have two. I'm slowly creep, creeping along to try to beat this. This is going uh, very poorly for me, guys. Try to beat this guy. Ready? Oh, no! Did you bust? <laughs> okay. So I get two. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Okay. Dang, I lost my forge. Okay, I really need like one perfect draw. Oh. Help me out, dude. Nope. Not it. Hang on. Oh, you have your shield. I have my shield. One. You are literally two away from tying. I know, but stop with six active chips. Okay, so you're just going to stop? That's I fine. I am, and I get two forges. Okay. That's so, actually really good. Now, you're not going to score any points okay. or get a castle, but But it's I fine. do score points for this, and I'm going to forge it, which is going to give me an so upgrade. So, that's uh, one second. So, one point for having active, and then two points. So, you tie it, you're okay. Yes. Okay. Um. So, I've completed this. You're going to get an upgrade. I get an upgrade. So, I'm going to go ahead and reset this, and our next battle is going to take place in Meadow of the Living Flowers. And Mr. Walrus, well, I'll wait for you to finish your stuff and then go into it. Just checking on the comments here. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh no, Jason says, I hope that uh, Seb escapes his room again. That would not be That'd cool. Be okay, paint it red. I'm going to go when my War Axe chip, so that's this chip. I have one in my bag. I'm trying to get more. Mm -hmm. um, when I draw that, if... it activates whatever upgrades yes, you have. I'm uh, yeah. explaining that. Oh, my bad. I'm saying okay. what I'm doing. Um, so when I have that, you may lose one supporter from any region to gain plus three strength. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then I have two Forge actions. Right? You already moved mine back. I was mm -hmm. on a forge. Yes, you're on a forge. You have two forge actions. Stop I needed to refresh it. Yeah. You already forged once, though. Okay. No? Okay. Yes, yes, you forged a rose. Um. Uh, so, a question over on YouTube. Jason Joyce asked uh, if the no. Tea Party cards that let you place a castle, in a two-player version, currently under development, you will place a half castle in a region in which you don't have a castle yet. So, that is how that will work. Um, mm. Again, the two player is under development, um, and this is what we're testing, okay. and we're showing it off for y'all tonight. So we're going to the meadow. We're going to the meadow. So at the beginning of the meadow, uh, the, the, this battle, mm -hmm. I have Mr. Walrus, who's right here, mm -hmm, who's mm -hmm. going to give me plus two strength to start the battle. I don't like that. And it says, Mr. Walrus says, if you win a battle with the Walrus, I gain three victory points. So I'm I'm in this to win this. That's not going to help me Three. win this. That is not going to help me win. Oh, Glory Hound showed up. She oh, said, good. is Lizzie winning? Uh, it's actually tied. tied. It's actually tied. Uh, now she's winning. I'm out. Bust. Big old bust. Bust a Rooney. Okay, but I can keep going. Oh, you know what? Hold on one second. I have the walrus there. I didn't bust. What I did was just refill my entire... Hold on. I have the walrus. I can't. I'm not. I'm not. That was unfortunate. Where is it? Did you get it? I dropped a chip and it rolled all the way across the floor. You good? Nailed it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Hold on. Well, you're not ready. Say no. Okay. Now I'm ready. Plus one. 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 I should be on four. Okay. Dude. That's fine. That's fine. You do you. You do you. Nerve wracking, guys. Plus two, which is actually a plus four for my flamingo. One, two, three, four, and you have a madness, so you gone. So because I'm losing where, to the NPC. Where, where? Oh, my bad, that one. Uh, I can keep going because I'm behind the NPC player. So there's plus one, and really all I need to do no, no. is I don't get the forge. beat him. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. I'm going to put that back in my bag using my shield. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah! Yes. Ah! Yes. I busted. Yes. Dadgummit. I lost the points yes. and the forge. That's what happens when you get greedy, kids. All right. That's the end of the round. Now we're going to move into round three. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Let's do it. This is for all the shards. I have a lot of supporters that came off the board that round, so I am kind of You're hurting. going to be drafting to put them, put them back out there then? Yeah, I am. All right, so the next battle is going to be played in Tolgi Woods again, I swear. He says he shuffled. Uh, I don't know, guys. I, go, I, I just put it on the bottom. That's where it goes. You reveal, put it on the bottom. 
Um, all right, there's a tie, which means the player who has the least amount of supporters on the board goes first, and, and I believe that is and you have two. me. So I actually get to go first again in this round. Mm -hmm. But let me go ahead and put these out for the people. Oh, look at that Wonderlandian right there. Can you get into refresh the Wonderlandian? Oh my goodness, get rid of a, sh a madness. A madness chip? Yeah, get rid of a madness chip. But there's no supporters for it. But that's pretty pretty great. Let's refresh the good old Wonderlandians here. And we have Mr. Caterpillar, who's super chill. The Amulet of the Duchess and the Hammer of the Carpenter. And where's Caterpillar? Dude, look at Caterpillar! So good! So good. All right. What do I want? You're first. What do you I want? I am first. What I want to do is get more supporters on the board, so I'm going to do that by placing supporters on the board. Mm -hmm. So I need to level uh, strong rows three. And I also get three supporters. We're gonna come over here, and I get two. Two quests. I'm gonna keep one. And. Let's give me the other one. Put it on the bottom. Okay. And where do I want to go? Me thinks we wanna go there. Oh, it's just one supporter? Yes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. So I get two supporters. I get a Wonderlandian. I'm gonna take the. Uh, Hammer, oh man, but the Caterpillar. First time you draw, or the first time, for the first draw, each player draws two chips. Choose one. Actually, the Caterpillar's super fun. The Caterpillar's really fun. We're gonna put the Caterpillar. You're already take... placing him? Well, you place him immediately when you get the uh, Wonderland again. Well then. Yeah, it goes on the board. Okay, I'm Hold on done? one second, I get a Forge chip, and then I'm done. Oh, and then I get two supporters, which I already placed here, okay. Can I go here? I can't really reach it. So I get two fives. I get one supporter. Which I'm gonna put here. And then I have to roll this. I get one. And okay, there I need. What do you need? The card. Oh, you need some, some creatures? I already got the creatures. I needed the card. I Could feel like reach. she should be like <laughs> this way, <laughs> facing the table. Well, honey. Um I know. Ooh. Oh snap. Yeah, I'm taking this upgrade 100% because it also has three supporters. And I get an upgrade. And I get to get rid of a shard, which I don't have any. Which I also realized in the last battle, I'm not going to take it because it's my fault. But I want the viewers at home to know that with unbirthday present, I have it unlocked. Uh, when you fill your madness row... Um, you gain a strong two chip. So I actually should have two of those, so that's my mistake. I'm not going to take them because I forgot about them. Because you play this game a lot. I forgot about it. Okay. So I want to go ahead and reset. All right, so you're going to go all the way around. You're going to roll. Oh, are you kidding me? Is that three? Oh, what a, what a shame. Oh, snap. That's a castle, though. <gasps> it's a half castle. Half castle. <laughs> but if I already have a castle there, I could flip it. Uh, yes. Oh. Because you have castles everywhere. No, you don't have one in Metal Living Woods. But you could use it to flip one. Which I'm would be go. bad because you could flip this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're going, you're bypassing all this? Yeah. My goodness. So it's giving me a six. A heavy, or a Oh, you got a rook. Rip. Yeah, a strong and rook. It's going to give me two to place because I it got a lot of mine back. Yeah. Oh, so, that's why you're doing it. Oh, yeah, because these aren't to... very... Yeah, that's fair. And you can split them. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Okay. One here. One there. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to go all... I'm also going around the table. We're going to reset. Good. Give me some... Oh, there's good. a Wonderlandian. And I have to roll this. That's a one. And I get to take, I'm going to take, oh my goodness. Do I take, I really need supporters on the board, but that's super juicy, but so is this. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go here and I'm gonna flip uh, this castle over. Mm -hmm. And I get two supporters. 
I'm gonna place two supporters. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll fight you out over there. Okay. Um, I want to go there. I Which want one? You want this? The, yeah, the flamingos. And one supporter. And you gotta roll the die. And I do have to roll the die. Oh. Lime. Um, where do I want to go? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this place uh, is crawling so ben, with Mad Hatters. Ben Akers has asked about the castle miniatures. You're just going to lay them on their side. Uh, so you'll lay them on their side, and then you'll stand them up uh, for the half castle okay. um, is how we'll we'll work work that out. Um, the other option you could do is to use, because you'll have the cardboard chips, you could place a cardboard uh, color chip and then mm -hmm. put your castle on top of it, like a foundation. Mm -hmm. um, like you're laying the foundation and then putting the miniature on top uh, if you have the deluxe. Um, there, there is that option as well. Uh, you know, get creative with it. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wowie. I'm going to go all the way around and take this for double strong roses. Mm -hmm. And I get two supporters. And I have to roll the shard die for one. And that was my fifth, fifth one. Five, yeah, it was my fifth. Right, I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh, you know what? One second. Um, I only placed one supporter off that card, and I had two. I have the walrus, uh, who I can place as a supporter. So I'll place the walrus here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the next one, which is gonna give me that Wonderlandian. Ooh, solid. And get rid of a shard. Indeed. And so, which Wonderlandian would you like? You have Amulet of the Duchess. Opponents each lose two strength or return a madness chip. Or the hammer, if you didn't bust, you discard the chip to take a two and put it in your bag. Amulet. Okay, okay. and then I get to place three. Those are yours. It's mine. It's yours. So here. I get to place three peoples. Where am I going to place the peoples? Place one here. I'm going to place two. Hang on. What's that? There weren't a lot of quests to draw that round. Um. Didn't really see very many cards that came out to draw quests. I think you took one, um, but I didn't really see too much more than that. <laughs> portals, apparently. Ian is talking about portals for the half castles. Um, I think, yeah. Ryan, no, no. No. Okay. Uh, I have five. So Ryan says that pretty sure move the purple instead of purple should be back three and red should be three ahead. Okay. Why? That's fair. I don't know. Said I'll just I'll I'll move I'll move red ahead three. I'm not taking points away from purple, but I think I might not have moved well, you, you up moved three me for at something. Four. Um no We're both there and you No, we were both on seventeen. Okay. That's why I moved you. So we'll move you up three. That's fine. I'm not quite sure where the points would have come well, from, but I, it's all good. I think... It's I fine. I don't think you should mess with it. You just want me to leave yeah. it to 17 I mean, 17? we it's both fine. play this game. Yeah, if it's we fine. missed it, it's our fault. Yep, it's all good. Things happen. All right. Uh, you need to deploy your leader. And I, I actually am deploying my leader as well. I don't want a last chip. Well, I could take another tea party, but I'd rather have my leader in battle so I get an extra supporter. Because that is important. And then we have to get madness, which I know you're getting two and I'm getting one. And I get rid of three, though. Um, um, which is actually, it's me. It's me to deploy, not you. I just got rid of madness. I know, but like I'm saying, you took the Wonderlandian, so it's, now it's my turn. I well, need I to deploy. I'm so I'm going to deploy. I've got something here. I'll deploy over here into the pool of tears. So now you have to deploy. What's your leader? Oh, you're only a one. I'm only a one. It's essentially just a fourth uh, supporter, but you have to lose supporters before you can lose your leader. And I have six there, so. Yeah. It just depends on what you're trying to win. Oh, why didn't? Why was that there? That should not have been there. I will. Oh man, what what does the caterpillar do? So the caterpillar says for the first draw, mm -hmm. each player draws two chips, and then you choose one to play and put the one put the other back. So he's good for both of us, mm -hmm. and he has one strength. All right, I'm gonna put her in 
the red keep, which means you lose one. That's me. I'm red. <laughs> okay. So we start until My bag know. is full of, of bits and bobs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tolgi Woods. Here we go. Two on one. Oh, oh. Huh? it says, when you're moving, have your shoulders around up, not down. I asked you, you said down, so I should have gotten rid of one earlier. I'm mad at you now. I'm getting rid of it now because I asked that and you said no. It was, it was down before. Because I said I had nine and you're like, no, it's down. I'm going to blame Ian for Ian that change. Ian said it's up, so I am taking that because I asked that specifically. Probably changed that like 45 minutes ago while I we were streaming. I could have sworn it was up when we played at Tantrum. I don't time. know. Okay. Tolgi Woods, Shall here we, we come. Tolgi Woods. Hold on. This has to go to 13. One, two, three. 13, and nobody has anything else, so this is just supporters on supporters. But um, One. Three. One. Two. Well, it's one. one, so I meant two. That's what I meant. I got you. Ready? So much in my bag. Two. Three. One, two, one, two, three. You're on five, and I'm on six. And plus two. Five. Uh-oh, that's not good. One, two, three, four, five. You're at 10. Plus one. Oh, no. So, plus one. Okay. Plus one. Hang on. Oh, you're doing a redraw? So you're out. I am. But you do get to flip your shield. You busted. I'm not happy. <laughs> not happy, Bob. Not happy, Bob. Uh, plus one. Oh, this actually should have been plus two earlier. So I'll just give myself two. I just got to beat this guy. Beat him, beat him, beat him. That's a madness. I will f shard it. Put it back in my bag. Come on, seriously, I literally Ooh. just need... Tim Eisner has joined oh. the Facebook Tim is chat. here. Hey, Tim. Wah! No! Grr! We both busted trying to beat this stupid NPC. I hate you, NPC! I'm kind of hating him, too. Oh, you're the worst. Okay, we're going to no do one the likes pool you. of tears. Ah, I lost... I lost a forge and I lost... Rose points. I'm very angry about okay. that. Not happy. Are you ready now? No. Are you yes. Ready? Crown. Your five. next. Your next one doesn't count. Yeah, but my five counts, uh, so I don't care. <laughs> and I start at one with the, my leader, and then I get a plus one. So, so there. Whatever. That's Madness. Okay. Bam. One. Ooh, three. Doesn't count. Crown of Knaves. But I may lose one supporter to gain plus that, three strength. You can do that. I'm going to do that. One, two, three. Yes. Uh, the Crown of Knaves stops strength, not abilities. Haha. <laughs> plus three. Plus one. Also, after adding strength from the teacup, I can move it down to my madness, which I will. So I get three for this. One, two, three. And you get, you get one. plus one. But this is a flamingo. Not good. Here we go. Oh, no, it's a red rook, which Plus doesn't one. double. It does not double. So I get three. But that's still good for you. It's true. And I have this. I'm actually going to return my forge to my bag. Okay, ready? No. Wait a minute. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're good. Yes, uh, I drew my forge. Oh, that resets my bag, though. I ain't mad about that. Hang on. Oh, man. Resetting your bag is such a great timing puzzle on, like, when you want to try to bust and go all in. Okay, ready? Oh, and I drew my other. This is awesome. You ready for this? I love this. So teacup goes up. I get three. One, two, three. I then have an ability that lets it come down and refreshes this, which combos into my unbirthday present. When you fill your madness track, gain any level two. I'm going to take a rook and put it into my bag, and everything resets. You have to give me my points. How many? Three. One, two, three. Okay. That is such a satisfying combo. One. Three. One, two, three. So we both are past the NPC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, ready? Mm -hmm. 
I'm stopping. I hit one. All right, so you are now one, two, three, four ahead of me, so this is your last draw. Come on, this is dumb. I don't like this. You want to take that? Hang on, hang okay. on. Trying to do something here, okay? I don't know what you're trying to do. Trying to do something. <laughs> no! That's it for you. Oh, so I can't fulfill my so quest. 16. So one, two, three. Okay, so you win. You get 12 points. I didn't fulfill my quest, though. It's okay. So you get like that. 12 points. So one, two, so 29. So what I was trying to do was stop when your final active chip is a faction chip. Yeah. So I was trying to get a red queen out there. Um, I get six points for that. One, Not two, happy, three, Bob. Four, five, I don't know why, like, why we just started doing that. I also, hold on, do you have any forges forge, active? Yes. Okay, I have two forges. I stopped on a forge symbol, and I have a forge in my active. So I'm forging twice. So I'm going to forge the level one and get huh. an upgrade. I'm going to do that, and I get And this. then I'm going to forge my card soldier to make my castles worth five oh, points. These go into my exhausted. And we are now going into the next fight. We just did Pool of Tears. Now we're going to come nope. around and do... Huh? Oh, sorry. I was switching out my oh. creature, and I accidentally just placed it in my bag. Don't worry, guys. To fight I caught it. Into the red, red keep. Uh, Games of Fire, thank you so much for uh, dropping in. They have to go now, um, but I appreciate you uh, popping in over on YouTube and hanging out with us for a little while. Um, Guess what? The NPC is on 13, Ian. I know what you're talking about. NPC, NPC. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to catch up with comments right now. What? My queen's a four. Your queen is level four? It's pretty darn good. It's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. It's pretty good. Bum, bum, bum. Four. All right, shall we? Uh, shall we dance? And the red done. keep. One second. The uh, walrus yes. is going to give me two strength at the beginning of the battle. If I don't bust, I get, or if I win the battle, I get three, uh, three points. How about that? <gasps> Bam. Let me go. And um, I can lose one supporter to gain plus three strength. Would you like to do that? You have two supporters. That's. I have the queen too. True, but you can't lose the queen. You'd have well, to no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So it put me at... That would put you at seven. Uh, no. Okay. That was not as good as I was expecting. It's great when you have a ton of supporters in that area. All right, so I get three. One, two, three. Also, I'm going to activate uh, more teacups, or more tea, so this is going to go down into my madness. Here we go. Draw. Yes! A six rook. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I needed that. Shall we? Crown of Knaves, one. your next strength does not count. Oh, I had a flamingo. Did you give me my one? I did give you your one. Yep, your next one will not count, which is great timing. There's a forge. It's okay. Uh, so I get one, you get nothing. I get nothing. You get nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Um, okay. I'm gonna pass. Two. One, two. You're gonna make me push my luck. I'm gonna make to you. I'm gonna make you push your luck and try to try to win this, if you want it. Three. One, two, three. Okay, I just need a really good draw and double. Come on. Madness. Mm, no. You're gonna shield it. Okay. Yeah. Six points is kind of a lot. Yes. <laughs> Madness. Ah! Red queen's out. And I won the battle, which gives me three victory points. One, two, three. I also win the twelve. One, two, so that's gonna be 38. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to use my long freaking arms to go somewhere over there. Uh, you busted, which means you're out of the battle, you get nothing. And I already have a castle here, so I don't get anything, but I did get the points, which is important. And yeah, so now we're gonna reset and go into Meadow of the Living Woods. Here we go. Oh wait, I have a forge. I actually was on a double forge, that's why I stopped. I was on the 14. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna forge this, so. This is going to give me six on my castles. And I'm going to forge this for a, I don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna use that forge. It's fine, I don't wanna waste it. Okay, shall we? Mm -hmm. Four on one. Oh, Caterpillar, we're gonna draw two chips and keep one and put the other one back. Caterpillar gives me one strength to start the battle. Ready? Yeah. Oh, well, I wonder what I'm gonna take. Madness? Or card soldier. Same thing, madness or my queen of three. And I'm gonna put my uh, red rook or my rook back in my bag three. using the Give card soldier three. ability. Three for you. Three. One, two, three, and I get one. All right, here we go. Shall we? Mm -hmm. 
One. Oh. Three. One, two, three, and one. Hang on. What's up? Oh, do you have a... I also have... Hmm. I really want to win this battle, though. Like, winning the battle is worth eight points. And getting... Although the half castle is not going to do you much. Oh, okay. I'm probably... This is probably a hor horrible idea. Plus one. I know. You stopped. Okay. But I need to keep going. So that's going to be a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also, it's a teacup, so I'm going to activate that. Um, I like that. Also, I get piping hot tea. I get a plus strength for each chip on the madness track, which was one, so I get an additional one off of that ability. Mm -hmm. So piping hot, teacups mm -hmm. have gain of strength for each chip on the madness track. There was one on my madness track mm -hmm. when I when I drew that. Okay. Next one is a flamingo for one. I really just need to beat this. N N NPC. I always say the wrong letter. Two. NPC. There it is. Got him. All right, so I'm going to stop. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Which, unfortunately, did not allow me to complete the quest, but I was able to beat the NPC player. Um, so I'm going to get the eight points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 46. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling good about this one, guys. <laughs> to be fair, I played this game a lot more. I know, but I... I, uh, so I don't much get any I don't forges. Normally. I didn't get any. Oh, I did have a forge because I ended over. I ended on on fourteen. So I will forge. Honestly, forging isn't really gonna help me much. But whatever. I'll just I'll forge here for a supporter because why not? For funsies. Okay. Uh, that was the last battle. I got my eight points. I get a half castle, even though I can't do anything with that half castle at the moment. Um, those are gonna stay, and that is the end. Of Wonderland's War. Well, I mean, we still but now we have to do points. Like, so right now, end. it's 29 to 46, and we are going to score points for our castles, mm -hmm. and then we're going to score points for our quests. Mm -hmm. So let's do castles first. Mm -hmm. What do you have for castles? Um, Mine are just worth four. I have two, so that's eight. Eight points. So one, so that's going to be 37. Oh, I'm going to have to stand up to get over there. Um, I have six points per castle. I have one, two, three, so that's 18 points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's right here to 64. And then quests. So what do you have for quests? Um, okay, hang on. I'm going through it. Okay, well, I'll get mine set up then. So this is out of my hand. So I get a victory point for each weak chip in my bag. So weak chips are the level one chips. So every two of them is going to be a point. So I'm going to separate these out into, man, I never drew my, my poor uh, roses. They just never, never they helped never me. showed up? Nope, just never got there. Okay. So I get, I completed this, so it's one VP for each card, soldier or flamingo. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, please. And was that played at the table? Yeah. I doubled it. One, oh, yeah, so you get one point, so half. eight. Yes. So that's going to be, so 45. So two for each region where you completed a quest. I have two red keeps and one meadow flower. So that's, so that's two regions, so four. So but was it played face eight. up? So it's eight. Yes. So 63, or and 53? one for each, no, well, two, because it's played up, uh, for each non-forged chip on your forged track. So one, two, three, four, five, so ten. 10 points. So and this was face down. So half So from your hand? Yes. Half point for each flamingo or forge. So half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five. Five points? Nope. Hmm? Six, because it was eleven. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I have Blossoming Quest, which gives me a vict uh, half victory point for each weak chip. This was for my hand, so it's gonna be each, you know, this is one, two, three, four points. So that was out of my hand. So you're done. That's it. I win. We're done. It's good, guys. That's we're calling Thank it. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining us. No, that's not true. I have two quests that I completed face up. So I get a victory point for each quest card. Uh, so this is two victory points. So two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have a victory point for each different you were type. Were in the game when they said I had plus three and you had minus three? Fine, give yourself plus three no, points. I don't I'm care. Not, uh, two victory points for it's each fine. different type of ally or Wonderlandian ship. So I have one, two, 
three, four, five. Uh, I have five different types, so that's 10 points. So honestly, babe, I this was a close game. What? Yeah, like, so 84 to 60, 69. That's really not that far away. That's not... Honestly, that's you winning one of these last if two I battles. If I hadn't busted like so many times and I'd gotten the half points, yeah, yeah. probably would have. I think like, right I think in there. what ended up um, hurting the I most was busted. when you gained. Mm. You were gaining the double madness. I, I never. I only got one madness every yeah, round, and I you had were doing the double madness. madness. Yeah, I mean, all this madness is what but you. But I started with three, and then you two. told me falsely that it was rounded down and not up. But I and had then zero I just madness, went like in zero for shards. It. For oh last wait, times. I have two. Oh yeah, and I have two, so that's actually, actually minus three points. I mean, I, we both had two though, so yeah. it didn't well, change anything. They are negative victory are, points at yes. the end of the round for having the shards. Yes. Uh, so you don't want a whole ton of them, um, really. Mm -hmm. And that's how you play Wonderland's War. So the final score is eighty-two to 67 so pretty close actually i'll take it <laughs> considering so, I how won many glory times Hound and glory hog and ian and Tim i'm gonna say and that glory that hound me. jinxed me on this one that's just what i'm going with guys <laughs> oh, oh caterpillar chooses what each player keeps just for future reference so you could have made me yeah keep i could have chosen it you're right if i would have read the card but I wouldn't do that to you. I'm going to be nice. Really? Glory Hound wants a recount. Not happening. Not happening. I mean, we can recount. It's going to be pretty boring because it's going to be the same results. <laughs> it's not like it was that close that it's like a recount. <laughs> I definitely lost. Oh, man. You know so why? It's because I wasn't playing Alice. Is I that why? You Alice. wanted to play Alice? It's true. You've played Alice the last few times we've played. And then you played Red Queen. But it's all good. It's okay. I got to look like this for it, so... Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We hope you had a great time uh, watching Wonderland's War 2 player. Again, um, everything is prototyping and in mm -hmm. development. We're working with it on the team. And, um, but, but the art will look this amazing. Oh, of course. I of mean, course. Manny, we love him. Also, if you didn't know, they launched today and we have the... Well, what are we calling it? Stretch goals? How do no, we... no, no. Narrative reveals. No, that's the one I'm talking about. The, oh, the 48 hour, 48 hour flash goal. Flash goal that we want to get 5,000 yeah. backers. Because we are talking about backer count for that's this right. instead of money. Right there. So the more people, yes, we can this get. One. We can get those awesome 3D we would love castles. I want to them. unlock these. Help so if us. you can pa pass along, it's backer count, not money mm -hmm. so we're just looking for more backers a dollar whatever you want it to be we want to unlock these awesome castle miniatures for everyone for everybody um well the deluxe anyways um it's true anyways thank you so much for joining us tonight we had a great time we hope you enjoyed this playthrough and we hope that you'll follow along with the campaign because we have a lot of really mm -hmm. fun stuff to unveil like today we just revealed the cheshire cat as the fifth player and it looks amazing, yes. guys. Um, one thing I'll end with is for those of you who backed the game, oh, yeah. um, we do have, here's the art prints. So I don't want to cover up Lizzie's face here. Let's get rid of the castle. So here is the Jabberwock art print. Like, seriously, incredible. Jabberwocky. Here's Jabberwocky. Alice. There's Alice. Again, these will be for anybody that subscribed to our newsletter before we launched. You're going to get these prints. Now, I don't know this for certain, but there may be an opportunity for you to get these in the pledge manager at a cost to you. Um, that is something that I think has been discussed, but I'm not saying for, for certain. I don't know. But if you miss the newsletter, you might be able to just buy them in the pledge manager. Because they're pretty awesome looking. They're beautiful. Bring them to a convention. Have Manny sign them. He's oh, my awesome. gosh. I want Manny to sign these. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good idea. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you, and we will see you back here tomorrow for Cinder. Yes. It's going to be super fun, super cute. Bye, Bye everybody.